Okay, we are going to now go over a flutter. If you had watched the Daisy video before this, then a lot of this is going to look familiar, especially in terms of how you take pathways to get into this movement. Um, the checkpoints are very similar as well for the first half of it. So for your flutter, you're going to start at a right shoulder position, and then you're going to tuck it underneath that right arm, bring it down to the left side. And for your flutter, just for this video, we're just going to keep our free arm by your side. Sometimes your flutter, you'll have your hand on your hip, you might bring it out to the side. There's like all sorts of cute little things you can do here with your free arm, but for now, we'll just keep it down by your side. So that's checkpoint one. Checkpoint two, sweeping across our toes and bringing our flag to that high V. So I'm just in the small of my back and I'm underneath my shoulder blade with that pull. That's checkpoint two. Checkpoint three, I'm gonna really pull that right shoulder back as I come behind my head. That's count three. And I really wanna make sure that I round into that. So I'm really taking the silk over and behind my head and then bringing it down. Instead of coming here and then just pulling behind me. So it should be directly behind your head as you are in that down position. So it should be in line with your spine. So that's count three. Count four, what you're going to do, if you've done the back scratchers already, this is a really similar concept. So you're gonna take that pull, and the pull you should see come out of the, your left peripheral here. So it should circle all the way around. So I'm thinking about going through flat, and then I'm letting that pull continue to round out as it comes into right shoulder here. So those are your checkpoints for your flutter. Going through that again, we are count one, just tuck. Two is high V. Three is behind. Rounding out as I come, count four, and bring that left hand on the pull again for right shoulder. I'll show you what that looks like from behind as well. So one, you're tucking, two, you're keeping up, three is down and behind, four, you're rounding out, and you just have the right shoulder. If you don't come to right shoulder right away, um, you have that ability also to do these back to back. So I'll show you what that looks like. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So when I did those back to back, I just left that left free arm at my side, and then I just went from my count four directly into my next tuck position. And you can do that as well. Those are your flutters.